Right, it's the 10th of January 2020. Four years ago, on this day, David Bowie died. So I'm going out for a lovely walk in my Quantock Hills. Yeah, there is a big crowd of people, about my age and older, walkers all meeting. It doesn't look like they've been here much, but they've found it. Once you discover this place, well... I've got no idea if they're going to come up behind me in a minute. But, uh, anyway, this, yes, like I said, this time, four years ago, David Bowie died. So I thought I'd, uh, come out on the Quantox because this is the, the window of weather today. Um, you have to grab it while you can because the weather over the next three or four days after today it's going to be really windy, wet, cold. Whereas today, I've got my umbrella just in case. I've got waterproofs on. I've got all the gear on today. Um, all the gear, including these gaiters that uh, the kids bought me years ago when they bought me this stick. I lost one of these sticks. Um, anyway, this is a way up. We're going up higher hair nap today. Um, I'm deliberately going up because it will be very, very swampy and boggy. I'm also wearing different boots. The other ones need thoroughly cleaning, drying out and spraying. And they'll be more for like when the weather eases up a bit but they definitely need spraying but they are very comfortable I haven't worn these since um, I bought the other ones so for about two years now I've been wearing my other boots which are more lightweight uh, made of it's like suede um, whereas these are like more leather and tougher actually not necessarily waterproof exactly, I don't know yet, can't remember. But I'm well dressed for cold weather. I think I'll probably end up taking my jumper off. I've got me really warm jumper on. I've already put the hat, scarf and gloves in the bag. I've got two drinks, a bottle of, just a small bottle of water and a bottle of fruit juice, a very small one. I've got some oranges and I've left the flask of hot water to have a nice herbal tea when I get back. Uh, another reason for coming out now, well there's two reasons, one is Alberta's got her MOT in two weeks time, just under two weeks time. So I need to Make sure I get out here just in case I can't use her unit, you know, I might have to sell her unit. I don't really know what's going to happen yet. I mean, she seems alright to me. She hasn't been overused this past year. Um, we did go to Northampton and Cambridgeshire, but she didn't do a lot of, not, apart from that, we haven't really used her a lot. I've been a bit hard up having moved the expense of moving, having to buy cookers, washing machines and stuff. Um, it uh, took all my holiday money, if you like. So we did a few trips out in there. I'm hoping to keep her. I want to keep her as long as I can, but I can't do her up. She needs cosmetic treatment. So I know that I can still probably find someone who'd, who'd want her for those reasons, not just for spares, because she is solid. She is solid. Right, so this is the start of my walk. Coming up here for Alberta to bring her out here for 2020 to say I've been on the Quantox with her this year. I've also decided that I won't be visiting Holford, the Quantocks, quite as much from 
sort of fit really from after today to uh, maybe August or something. I'm not sure. So this, I find that April is a really bad time for picking up ticks. February, March, April, May, June. They seem to come out and they're very hungry. So uh, I've decided to... I'm going to go elsewhere. I know you can get pick up ticks anywhere, but last year I had a really, really bad attack of uh, Lyme disease. So um, I have to, I'm going to take in more precautions. This year I've got more clothing on as well. Doesn't mean that you can't lie and hide in the seams, you know. It doesn't keep you a bit on guard, but it doesn't stop me coming out. But I decided to give it a little rest and explore some other things. Um, I might do more churches. I shall still do walks. Um, there's the Hodder's Coombe all down there. That valley there is Hodder's Coombe. Uh, so I don't know where that big... There's a huge group of people. Um, I always find some of these big groups not exactly friendly, you know. <laughs> they never hardly ever say hello. They're very just wrapped up with their own group. Um, you know, you can walk right through them and no one will speak. And when you're on your own, I don't see why I should speak first. I have done before now and been totally ignored. So I tend to sort of hold back now. I was half expecting them all to troop along here in a minute. Clickety-click, clickety-click. Anyway, I should be right up on those hills up there in a minute. Over and out for now. Right, not very many videos today. 10th of January 2008. 20. I have to remind myself. Four years ago, David Bowie died. I wanted to do this walk, but I thought well, it's quite a nice day to go out and walk and remember people. And uh, he he was a significant person in many of our lives, in all of our lives. He was a, a, an icon, not a legend. He was real. He touched us. He, he was an artist, a musician. Everything. A man, a father, a husband, a son. And to us, all of us, he was he was one of us. I think that's why I what I liked about David Bowie is he never lost who he was, even though he would do fashion, turn to the left, fashion. He knew all about that. He he was he kept it all very low. Um, but he had a, he had a good mind. He tested the boundaries, extended himself and other people. And he he was one of us. He was one that you say sort of made it, although he didn't make it into old age. Um, he was he, he worked really hard. He played hard as well in his younger days. He found love. Only lucky. <laughs> right, so this, I might be out walking. There was a big group, I don't know where they went. They might have gone up the coombs to the shelter. But down here we've got like, uh, let me say, you've got ladies' coombe, you've got uh, frogs' coombe, you've got slaughterhouse coombe, you've got Somerton coombe, you've got Shepherd's Coombe, Hodder's Coombe, Holford Coombe, um, lots of coombs. And over there is the Delbra Hill Fort, which I did that, I think the last time I came, I, I walked up into that fort. That was my last walk, I think. And then going up near the Crokham Park and all the way along and back. And then I came down into the into Shepherd's Coombe to meet Hodder's Coombe in the fords. But I've already zoomed in, I'll do it again now, to see that if I wanted to come down one of my favourite coombes, um, if you look over there, that's where I'd have to come down from Bicknoller Post. And it's absolutely flooded. 
that would be quite difficult to negotiate without one some boots on be quite honest so I probably will do the top edge and come go along the top and then go towards the plantation over there and then down today I'll see what I'll do I'll just keep an eye on that but like I said it looks very very it's, it's bad enough when I came before there was any water anywhere it's always been a bit risky but it does look very very wet it's very wet oh, there were two people a minute ago and they had a dog with a luminous coat that they've despaired I mean they might be making their way down over Holford Coombe over there Yeah, so I was right over there. I'll just zoom in. Um, there's a tree there with some horses. I took some photos of them. And there's two sheep that followed me up the hill. They branched off and went in there, both heavily pregnant. But there's some, some horses I took photos of. The grey one sticks out. And there's that one. Now, he hasn't moved. That one there is standing still. They do that, horses. They keep dead still. It's weird, like, like they're in a trance. And I came up a track there, down from where I've parked Alberta in, in Holford Green. It's very cloudy today, but it's high up. Um, I've got all... It's not what I call a massive walk. This isn't going to be a massive walk today. I'm Basically, I'm going to go up there, join the path, go along and make my way along the top and then I'll come to Bicknoller Post there and I'll probably do the top route. I do love doing the, the coon mind um, but I know it's going to be absolutely boggy. Depends if I think well it don't matter you'll be back in a minute if your feet get wet she don't, don't matter but it does look very very boggy. Now over there we've got Hinkley Point nuclear power station that's been a lot of money spent on it. Um, I can't see the special crane. They did have a special crane out there. It was orange. Seems to have gone. And there was a dome that was visible, but maybe they bury it. There was, there was a, at least one silver dome. But I can't see it anymore, so maybe they, they actually submerge it. It, it looks less busy, actually. <clears throat> um, maybe that's on hold or something. Who knows? So this is Sheila. There's a con. Uh, I'm just going to put a stone on the top. They can rotate these stones. They go, they go up the top. They gradually come down. There's one for David Bowie. As for David Bowie, this is all, and this one's for all my family, dead and alive. zoom in and see people and I'll be on that track where they are in a minute I don't know where the other people went they could have already gone on could have already gone on right then everyone over and out for now this is Sheila 10th of January 2020 and I think it's going to rain